Today, in Judge Scott McAfee's Georgia courtroom, the Trump tr team's criminal defense lawyers learned that they will not be getting away with the kind of wise guy stuff that some of them traffic in inside and outside of the courtroom. In a hearing concerning, among other things, defendant Kenneth Chesbrough's lawyer's right to question grand jurors who returned the indictment against his client, he called Assistant District Attorney Daisha Young a liar, whereupon the judge told him, in no uncertain terms, to shut up. Ms. Young's trying to send my client to prison, and we have the right to know if it was done properly. And she keeps saying there's no case law. As your honor said, there is case law. Instead of creating these wonderful PowerPoints that they're so fond of, read our briefs. The Colin case says we can talk to grand jurors. <laughs> so the fact that she got up here <laughs> and lied, lied to the court. All right, Mr. Grumman, I think we need to go down that road. Your Honor, right. she lied to the court, and I hey, apologize, and she defamed my Mr. Grumman, I've said it's over. All right. Earlier in the day, Judge McAfee ruled against motions by Kenneth Chesbro and Sidney Powell that they each be given individual speedy trials. Judge McAfee said they will get their speedy trials beginning with jury selection on October 23rd, but denied their request for individual trials and ordered them to stand trial together. The judge's order said additional divisions of these 17 other defendants may well be required. That is a decision for another day once the many anticipated pretrial motions have been resolved and a realistic trial date approaches. Ten minutes after Judge McAfee ended his hearing today, defendant Mark Meadows withdrew his motion for an emergency pause in the Georgia case against him so that he could pursue an appeal to his move, his attempt to move the trial, his trial to federal court. Now that the Georgia case against Mark Meadows has been slowed down by being severed from the two defendants who requested a speedy trial, it is clear that Mark Meadows' appeal will be heard before the criminal case against him goes to trial.